Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're doing a review of the Falcon and Winter Soldier show that just ended last Friday. Uh, overall impressions of the show, they found some good points and there are a lot more bad points. I mean, I feel as though it's a show that fundamentally struggled with being part of the MCU. I mean, the elements that they did do well are elements that aren't present in the other films, or, you know, the other works, but they nailed those aspects. I mean, John Walker, is that saying John? US agent. His character arc was so well handled. I mean, just how he progressed throughout the show, he was in no way a clean-cut hero or a villain towards the end. I mean, I don't want to say anything that spoils it, but he can go either way, and that made him a very compelling watch. He was very different from a lot of the characters we have, and yeah, just a very, very solid arc on his account, and he was well acted. Falcon, I mean, obviously we all know how his arc was going to end up. There was no real surprise there. I won't say it, just in case somebody would see it as a spoiler. But uh, initially, I didn't believe the actor, Anthony Mackie, had the gravitas to pull off what he ended up being. But then they have the moment at the end where all cameras are on him and he has to give a big speech. And really, this speech summed up a large part of what the whole series was going for thematically. And he just nailed it. He really sold himself to me in that moment. So I think that was a high point of the series for me. Bucky? Bucky was just terrible throughout this show. I mean, he's well acted, don't get me wrong. And there's some good points where they show how damaged he is from his time as the Winter Soldier. But I don't think enough was done with that. And then I kept hoping, you know, his poor performance in the fight scenes, because Bucky goes from being the most dangerous man alive to kind of just being an absolute chump in this series. And I was hoping it was because of his mental conflict, and then in the last episode, I thought they were going to have a moment where he reconciles and we get to see him, you know, kick ass and take names. And it looked like it was about to happen, and then it just kind of got swept under the rug. And that's a big problem with this series, is just the fight scenes and anything to do with the action was not well handled. There are too many cuts in the fights. The choreography of Falcon using his wings and the shield to compensate for fighting with super soldiers, that was well done, that was clever, which makes me think the choreography in the fight scenes would technically be good, but you can't see them due to how it was filmed, which just renders them pointless. So, that was a big bummer. Uh, there was a big twist at the end, you know the twist I'm talking about, and... Uh, it, I feel, it feels unnecessary. I'm not sure the character would believably go in that direction, and I don't think it added anything to the show having that in there. It just felt like a twist for the sake of putting in a twist. We did get some cool introductions. The MCU lore was expanded. Isaiah Bradley, I think, was well handled. In fact, the whole racial undertones of, you know, as I often said, a black man taking up the shield of Stars and Stripes, I think that was handled well. I mean, I'd be interested to get opinions from actual Americans on that whole arc, because obviously being an Australian living in the UK, I don't have the sense of the history behind that. But it felt like it was well handled and organic to me, and the whole Isaiah Bradley arc, I thought, had a satisfying conclusion. But uh, even then, not that satisfying, because he didn't really get justice, he got recognition, which isn't the same thing. Yeah. And I suppose that brings me to an element that I didn't think was very well done. It's just the villains in general. I mean, the Flag Smashers as an organization, they did exist in a morally gray area, which is interesting, but I just didn't care about any of them. Like, for the life of me, I cannot remember the main chick's name. That's not the actress's fault. She did a great job. It's just, I think the script and how they were handled was poor. Zemo was a standout. Zemo was a great villain because, like Walker, he wasn't necessarily a villain. You could understand his motives and where he was coming from, and they did show a good interconnection with his beliefs and Falcons that really tied in well with the whole show. But yeah, ultimately it was just a mixed bag that really struggled with the legacy of the MCU that was on top of it, which kind of is nice in sort of a meta sense since the show was about legacy, but you don't want that in the show. You want them to be hitting stuff out of the park, and they never really did it. We got the, like, gif of Zemo dancing, and I think that may be the biggest contribution this show makes to the MCU, because the rest of it's kind of forgettable, which isn't good. It did expand the world, I think I've said this, like, 
Madripoor being introduced, that's nice. They kept making mentions of the moon stuff happening up there, which I'm going to guess is going to tie into space and perhaps sword, but that's all speculation on my part. Yeah. Ultimately, I'd give it a uh, 3.5 out of 5. It's not a great show. It's not a bad show, that's for sure. It's like got huge production values. It just sucks that whoever was filming the action yeah, didn't know what they were doing. Batrock, very very wasted like super annoyed about that rock so yeah best i can do is a 3.5 out of 5 yeah i guess we'll wrap this up there uh if you enjoyed this review we have plenty more most pertaining to action figures at this stage but we'll do more movies and stuff going up yeah, going ahead going forward going forward change approved um yeah so going forward we'll do more movies and reviews let me know what you'd like reviewed i guess because this is still new for me as well um so please yeah if you enjoyed this like and subscribe and we have loads more to enjoy including hero house the wreckers figure fights top 10 lists ranking lists yeah there's lots there um thanks for your time all the best and hopefully i'll see you again bye